With logistic support vessel 7 SSGT Robert Kuroda already in Australia for Talisman Sabre 2023, the conditions were set to transport Australian Defence Force tanks and equipment to Indonesia for Super Garuda Shield. Major Jonathan Daniel, U.S. Army, reports. Major Nathaniel Sanders, Captain Margaret Marne Chief Warrant Officer 2 Jason Earle, all with 8th Theater Sustainment Command, were heavily involved in the planning, coordination, and synchronization with the ADF, U.S. Marines Corps, and the Darwin and Indonesian Port Authorities to ensure all aspects of the operation went smoothly. Early in the planning for Super Garuda Shield we recognized there was an opportunity to transport ADF equipment to Indonesia utilizing our Army watercraft, said Mar. Overall, things went great and we demonstrated how well our forces work together. The Kuroda was loaded in Darwin port before setting sail to Tanjung Perak port in Surabaya, Indonesia. The tanks belonged to ADF's 1st Armored Regiment and played a major role in the field training exercise during Super Garuda Shield. Lt. Col. Michael Henderson, commander of the 1st Armored Regiment, said, Our participation in Super Garuda Shield 2023 provides an important opportunity for Australia to work with our Indonesian and US partners to support an open, inclusive and stable Indo-Pacific region. It will also demonstrate our ability to meet the most demanding land challenges in the future and to effectively deploy significant land forces, including armor, across the Indo-Pacific region. This isn't the first time an 8th Theater Sustainment Command vessel supported the movement of Australian equipment, but the operation was historic as it was the first time an Australian armor vehicle has departed its home shores since the Vietnam War, according to ADF officials. For the LSV-7 crew, it provided a unique final mission to complete their support to Operation Pathways before returning to Hawaii. The best part of doing this lift is that it demonstrates our ability to work seamlessly alongside our Australian partners, said Chief Warrant Officer 3 Nicholas Kyle. Although this is done as part of a training exercise, I think it sends a message that the US Army and ADF are integrated, ready, and capable. The US and Australian armed forces have a storied history of standing side by side that dates back to World War I. Currently, the two countries partner together across multiple Operation Pathways exercises in the Indo-Pacific. Super Garuda Shield is an annual exercise that has significantly grown in scope and size since 2009. This year is the second consecutive time that this exercise has grown into a combined and joint event highlighting the seven participating and 12 observing nations' commitment to partnership and a free and open Indo-Pacific.